David Janotte. I'm a partner at OMA and I'm running uh, the operations in this part of the world. OMA is an architecture office in Asia. Hong Kong is the largest and is also the office where the design is done and where most clients are addressed. But model building for us is extremely important. We test constantly uh, in different scales uh, how the volume, how the space is. Throughout the office you will see models that are tiny so that I can have them in my pocket while I'm traveling and, and adjusting and changing stuff. I always have a little bit of glue. For me, a building can only become reality when I see it, when I feel it, when I touch it. So what you see here is a model of the Tencent headquarter building in, in Beijing. Uh, Tencent is a computer company. Because they are growing so quickly, uh, they have no clue when this building is finished, how many people will work there. It's going to be a building of 180 meters by 180 meters square, so gigantic. About uh, 4,000 people working on one floor plate uh, will be finished in about two and a half years from now. I think it's important to say that China's change is not only a physical change, it's also a mental change. They're trying to forget an era that wasn't that pleasant for them and they're trying to make progress. It's not that they're trying to make progress to mirror what the West is doing, uh, but they're trying to find their own way. And because of the speed, the overall urbanization and the questions the city have are very, very different. They're not about positioning or about how can I enlarge my city step by step, but they are really about how can I address almost millions of people coming to my city in one go. And that means that for an architect, uh, your role is also very different. It's not about thinking the city uh, from now to 50 years, uh, but it is about what can I contribute now? Uh, how can we deliver something to the company or the government that wants that building? But at the same time, how can we provide something that the people that are going to live there or going to use these spaces benefit from? A very good example is the Shenzhen Stock Exchange, where we were simply asked to make a tower and a podium. Uh, and a podium is, of course, always very defensive. Uh, it keeps people away. And what we did was we lifted that podium simply up. Uh, 40 meters up in the air, which means underneath it there are two public squares that can be used by people from the area. You asked me to take you to a space where I get inspiration. That's very hard because inspiration never comes at a certain moment or in a certain space only. But I'm going to take you to a temple. Our work as architects only flourish when you understand culture in which you're working. The best place to experience that is in a space where people kind of let go of everything that is society, but really turn into themselves and become very personal. Uh, because architecture is a very privileged job. You are able to shape the conditions people live in and people work in. And so we have to take ourselves serious, but we also have to do it with a lot of fun else other people will not have any fun within the spaces that you visit.